Kansas tonight, you can feel welcome. It's Jordan Lopez Oliveira. How's it going, everybody? First time we really had this place packed out in a minute, so this is nice being back out here. Um, so, I'm not from here. Um, I didn't really think that politics was like a big thing until I got here, and I realized uh, y'all don't fuck around when it comes to your, you guys who you're voting for. You guys do not fuck around at all. I figured this out really fast with my girl and her dad, and uh, yeah, he likes Trump. And when I mean likes Trump, I mean he probably jerked this dude off if he had the chance, just because he could say he's an American. And that's American pride right there, buddy. Uh, so I, I pick my crowds wisely. So if I'm around him, I'll make as many shitty Biden jokes as I can. I have this fucking dude so riled, like just riled up, riled the fuck up. But it's even better though when I get him to drink a little bit, and I might slip him a hydro, get him a little high, and then he's really going then, because then Trump's really flowing. You know what I mean? Because a pain pill make you make you either two two things. You either talk to God or talk to your president. And in this sense, Trump is his God and president. So <laughs> you're having a pretty good conversation at that fucking point. You know what I mean? I mean, so you got to pick your crowds wisely, uh, and that, that's what I like to do. I recently got my chest tattooed yesterday. Uh, I'm not saying this is like a flex or anything, but like I see some people here that have tattoos. I imagine you guys went to like a tattoo parlor, I'm guessing, right? Went to set a chair. Yeah, I sat on the recliner of a couch and I keep moving a cat off my stomach. Uh, yeah, I'm dead ass, I swear to God. And the dude would just go tell him, yeah, just move the cat. He just likes you, that's all. Scoot off to the side, you're good. You don't, don't worry about him. And I was like, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, my tits hurt like a motherfucker, but this cat keeps jumping on my stomach, so that, that was that was the fucking best tattoo session of my life. I've only had one professional tattoo in my entire life, but that's how that fucking goes. Um, in other news, uh, I wanted to flex today, so I ate some mushrooms, and that was a stupid idea at the beginning of it, mostly because uh, I was at Walmart, and I filmed myself eating the mushrooms in Walmart, so the ladies... Clearly were looking at me. They were like, not like an, oh my god, look at him. They were like, oh my god, look at him. The fuck is he doing? But I had to find orange juice. And like, because everybody knows orange juice helps better when juice helps better when you're eating mushrooms. And if you don't, you do now. You See, you're learning stuff from here. So, look, you got children in the background. Don't do drugs, but if you do, drink orange juice first. Orange juice first, boys. Orange juice first. Remember that. That's, that's, that's definitely going to have to stick with you guys, <laughs> if anything. I keep forgetting there's kids in the background, so yeah, most of my drug stuff, I'll try not to stick to that, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, well, I there's another comedy place here at, at, in Joplin, it's uh, called Blackthorn. Uh, I do shows there every other Sunday, and the only problem I think I have with that place is that every time I get done doing a show there, there's at least three or four people that'll walk up to me either asking for cocaine or pussy. And I don't know what I'm, I, I get that I might either look like a pimp or have coke, but it, I don't, I don't eat, like I don't, I hate cocaine. Uh, cocaine's one of the worst drugs ever. Actually, I make fun of people that do coke, mostly because if you don't know, coke makes you gag. And my brother and them, they like to do cocaine in the bathroom. And I lie to people and tell them that they're blowing each other in the bathroom. <laughs> I, I do, and this is a true story. And like, he didn't know this until here recently. <laughs> Whenever he's seen this on YouTube, and now he does cocaine by himself. Um, <laughs> yeah, because he can't suck his own dick. He's 300 pounds. It's kind of hard to do that. That's a fetish at that point, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, I got to the point in my porn history research that I'm just tired of watching regular shit. Like, I'm tired of just regular people fucking. So, I decided to start looking up just bad bitches fight over food. And I don't know why that's what came across my search history, but that's what happened. And, uh... Yeah, so I've been getting my rocks off to that, and that's nice, so just, yeah, just throw a big chicken down in front of two fat bitches and watch it go down, you better back the fuck up, because uh, this guy right here might be horned up. <laughs> that's probably the worst thing I'll say tonight. <laughs> Alright, uh, here recently I figured out that there's a scale at the Walmart place every time you weigh out your groceries because there's a person monitoring you, so you just make sure you're actually weighing out all your stuff and actually getting it, like... So you can actually pay for everything. So I took it a little step further because I already have to fucking cash out myself and do everything else with my goddamn self. So I should be an employee. I decided uh, to weigh myself on the scale so I could just see what my weight was. And uh, they didn't like that, mostly because I weigh myself naked. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm happy you guys are laughing. That joke cost me fucking three thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm Jordan. I appreciate you guys. <laughs>